Rightio, so here we are guys, Sunday fun day down at the park and as you can see we've got the digger detecting marquee set up and it's ready to go. So hi boys, hi. the boys representing digger detecting in their wonderful shirts and as I said we've got all the marquee and all the gear set up and ready to go on display. We've even brought down a bit of our own mine lab stuff, our Vanquish 440 boxes uh, to put on display and our Equinox 900 and 800, a harness and coils and uh, look even our shovels and uh, Keep, people keep uh, coming along saying, uh, mate, how much are the detectors? How much are the shovels? Unfortunately, they're not for sale. I do not sell any Mine Lab products. I uh, look, I only just have them down here to uh, represent Mine Lab and Coil Tech today and show off what's available in the metal detecting world. So, really, really cool though. We've got uh, uh, some of our merchandise set up here. Uh, we've also got the iPad going, uh, showing all our finds. And we've, <laughs> we've got all these kids coming up uh, doing, uh, doing their treasure hunt, their bucket hunt. So, Really cool. What we're going to do too, I've, uh, I've asked Misty, the event organiser, would it be alright if I filmed here today? Would it be alright if I walk around and give you a bit of a look at some of the other stalls and everything else that's going on here today? So, so what we're going to do, we are going to wander around, we're going to talk to stall holders, we're going to check out some of the products on offer and uh, look, give you guys a look at what's all happening down here at the Sunday Fun Day. So really, really exciting and uh, look, we're going to do a bit of a talk on the radio a bit later with Jonathan. Uh, we'll give you a listen to that as well as we go. Uh, so anyway, back to Helena. I think she wants a coffee now. We'll go take over, give her a break, and do a bit more filming where we can. Hey, how are you? Have you got two? Um, so all I've got lip gloss, pen, notebook, yeah. or a ball. Yeah. I've got a pen, so a notebook, a lip gloss, or a ball. Yeah, a few other pens. Majority of them are Yeah, yeah. Well done. It's a toy gun, but it's all rusty. How are we going, though? Good. You here to sign this one off? Yeah. Digger detecting. There we go. Got another one there. What are you after, mate? You got pen, yep. And that one. Want a ball or a pen or a pad? Pen? They're good pens. There we go. There we are. Thanks, Thank guys. you. Yeah, we'll try and make it more room. Yeah, it still works too. It's still a worker. Made in, made in England, so quite an old one. Yeah. Uh, I know what's happening here. Yeah. How are we? It's good. Interested in uh, metal detecting at all? or You got a metal detector you're already out there enjoying? Yeah, no, I haven't. Have it? I haven't done it, no. Yep. Uh, it's a lot, lot of fun, and there's a lot of stuff out there to find. You'd be amazed what's buried in the ground. Uh, there'd be, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sure if I spent an hour detecting in this park here today, I could pull up, uh, you know, enough to fill this table. So, yeah. Yeah. Don't think the metal detectors find that one. Digging up holes, you'll find it. Are you? Wow. Wow. This is like treasure too. So this is already metal. Do you do um, gold detecting? I do. I, uh, I started out with gold detecting. Yeah, yeah. Found gold, but I quickly transitioned oh, to Boys and Rally. So I just find in Boys and Rally more historically interesting. Yeah. Uh, every piece has a, has a different story. Yeah. Whereas a bit of gold has just got a weight and a value. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's really not that interesting to me. So. Pretty shiny. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. shiny, pretty gold <laughs> heavy, but yeah. I, yeah, it's just a pretty Yeah, it's just a really good yeah. thing. Mental health, like yeah. even for my own mental health, I know it helps me. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm really fine. Yeah, and sometimes, like, it doesn't really like, well, it doesn't matter what I find, I go into these places that I would not, otherwise never had a reason to visit. Yeah, uh, exciting, yeah. yeah, and I mean, I get, I get to meet people and talk to people, and I get to go on the farms. Like, I go knock on a farmer's door and say, Mate, you got an old property down the back, can I go detect yeah. it? Uh, and you know, I would never have met him. I would never have explored that property if it hadn't been for the fact that. So yeah. He would have never known. Hey guys, how are you? Hello. That's right. And what I offer to everybody, like if you're the landowner and I'm coming to approach, yeah. I offer everything up to you. I don't want to keep it. Yeah. It's, it's all yours. If you want to keep it, you keep it. I just unearth it for you. Yeah. A lot of people don't want to do that. Now a lot of people are just happy to see it come out of the ground. Some people want to keep everything. And I'll do them up in a display frame and give it back to them. So, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not about me. Yeah. And you on. do this? Uh, yeah, I make all these, yeah. yeah. So um, this is actually our first one we've ever done. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't ever sell it. Rightio, I'm going to leave the boss in charge. Helena. 
You're the man. <laughs> Need me? Yell out to me. Ah. So we're going to leave Helena in charge. She's got a crowd around her. We've had a crowd all morning, actually. It's uh, quite amazing how many people we've had coming along. So we've got Jonathan over there on the radio, OCRFM. Uh, we've actually done an interview with Jonathan there before, about, uh, what, six months ago, advertising for the upcoming weekend prospector. We're going to walk around too and, uh, as I said before, just check out a few of the stands, a few of the stalls, even talk to a few of the stall holders if we can. Try not to annoy anybody. Uh, you don't mind being on camera? I'm just filming a bit of, the, bit of your stuff here. I'll step so back. <laughs> you'll step back. I'm just, uh, look, I, I got the stall next door. I do the YouTube films and uh, we thought we'd film along and uh, check out some of the stalls here today. So, got some great stuff here. Really cool. Do you make all these yourself? You do? Yeah. How awesome is that? You don't mind being on film? No, nah, no, nah, awesome. So, what is your name here? I'm Kylie Dival. Kylie Dival. And what do we got here? Oh, yep. So, we've got. Flavorista. Flavorista. This is Queensland Company. Wow. You mind if I pick one up and have a look? Sure. Yeah. Go ahead. I don't want to mess it all up on you. But uh, look, this is on YouTube channel, uh, on my YouTube channel. And uh, look, it should be seen by thousands of people. So hopefully we can get uh, we can get your products and your name out there a little bit. And same thing with more storeholders. So bush tomato, field mushroom, corn relish. Helena will love this. Uh, my partner's uh, a chef, so she'll have to come over and check it out later. Yes. So yeah, yes. awesome. Some great stuff. Uh, oh, keep moving. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Kylie. Uh, look at the crowd. Helena's got her work cut out for her. Right, I will keep moving. So another stand here. We've got construction for kids by the looks. Really cool. Hi, how you doing? That's the way. You don't mind being on film? No, is that all right? I'm, I'm shooting a YouTube video at the moment. Uh, and look, there'll be thousands of people out there watching this, no doubt. Yeah. And we're just going to go around and check out uh, some of the stalls and uh, talk to some of the storeholders. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yep. So what, what do you do? Uh, so I'm Bless Their Mess. So I'm a pretty new business around town. So yep. I'm all about promoting messy play with children. Okay. Yeah, yep. yeah yep. promoting sensory play in the home. Just oh. wanting to yeah, really bring it into the home and provide a, a purpose-built safe space for kids to be able to really engage in their play and emerge. And, and learning. And and, yeah, yep. uh, play with all the different textures and... And yeah, yep. every tray comes with at least three different experiences with all the learning that happens with it and yep. Play-Doh mats and, and it's all homemade and tastes safe as well. So, wow, wow, yeah. that's amazing. And it looks like you've got some uh, little helpers here yes, helping absolutely. out yep. uh, and they're loving it by the looks. So. Yep. And like I said, straight in the gob, but it's okay because it's food. It's all, yep, <laughs> yep. Oh, awesome, awesome. We might just have a quick look over there yeah, if that's absolutely. all right. Yeah, and uh, we'll just give the viewers a bit of a look. That's what today's all about, just showing off what we've got here on offer so really cool stuff as you can see we've got uh, construction we've got the dinosaur kit we've got the rainbow kit and the fairy kit very cool and they come with all these wonderful uh, items for kids to play with as uh, as emily said there so amazing thank you so much all right awesome enjoy the rest of your day let's go on to the next well, our next stall here is Paws and Clay. We've got locally made clay earrings, studs, and statement earrings and hair clips. How cool. So we'll just give you a bit of a look as we go through. We don't want to get in anybody's way, but we've got some really great little pieces. I just love seeing all these. They're so creative. And uh, look, it all looks handmade. So amazing, amazing. $10 for these ones here. Got lucky dips up the back there. Very cool. How cool are they? Awesome. Thank you so much. See ya. What a stunner day. What a beautiful day. Look at all the people. Amazing. Hi, how you going? Good, thank you. You don't mind being on video, do you? I'm shooting a YouTube video. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a YouTuber and uh, we're doing a uh, YouTube video basically just on all the stalls here today and uh, checking out all their products and yeah, so just, just have a bit of a wander around and I'm just uh, eyeing off those drinking mugs right now. How cool. Oh, they're amazing. Uh, I love the uh, the fact that it's got a tapered down bottom so you can fit it in your cup holder too. Yeah, yeah. It's more at the back there, just tame ones as well. Okay, yep. But I have been told apparently um, Kmart do a, 
Yeah. Like so you can tuck the that can fit into your cup hold, like, and then you can put them in if they're Co- quite fit or something. Correct. Yeah, my yeah. partner actually has one. Yeah, and oh, she's got okay. one in hers because she's got yeah. a Frank Green drink bottle. Oh yeah. Uh, and they're, they're miles too big. So yeah, yeah she's got a little silicon cup that goes oh, in. Nice. Yeah, and it fits yeah, in. I so. have seen them, but I haven't had a chance to test them out yet. Yep, I think I think definitely. Well, yeah, yeah a good oh, good awesome. one to stock, so for future. Yeah, yeah. Uh, looks like you got some great stuff. We'll just have a look through here. Yeah, if that's all right. Yeah, Absolutely. and all our all our viewers will be able to see all your wonderful items. Thank so you. no worries. Uh, really cool. I love these cups. They are awesome. I might have to buy a Helena one. All right, got all the tractors up the back there. Really cool. I know. Uh, I know a couple of little boys that would love those. Uh, and Paw Patrol, Barbie, Frozen. Uh, we've got some dad gifts over the back here. Yeah, measuring tape, I think. Really cool. With a spirit level on the side. Uh, awesome. Awesome. Busy boy, that's me. That's really cool. I know your lane sucks, but please stay in it. I love that cup. Everybody that sits in the right-hand lane, do not sit in the right-hand lane unless overtaking. Now that is really cool. Scottish Highland Teddy Cow. And uh, funnily enough, we actually got one of those made up for uh, for my nephew. So very cool. Thank you so much. You. Uh, much appre- you too. Much appreciated. See ya. Oh, the next stall is Bickies by Nikki. And uh, look, we've got paint your own Bickies here, as you can see. They're really, really cool. Uh, so great little setup here. And look, kids would absolutely love this. I know my two boys would love this, painting the Bickies as they go. And then they get to eat them. So really, really cool. Let's move on to the next. We're moving on to the next stall now. We've got some really, really cool stuff here. You can see we've got fidget toys for kids. Whoops, that box is closing over now. I've... Uh, Keep it, keep it upright so everybody can see what's inside. We've got, are they candles? Oh no, little glasses. They're trinket boxes that made with resin. Oh wow, how amazing is that? All resin. Wow, that is so cool. And you just put them in a mold, do you? And yep, that's amazing, that is amazing. Wow, they're so cool. All right, so we've got trinket boxes, we've got uh, pendants, necklaces, we've got fidget toys. We've got other little toys for kids. Kids are going to love this. I wonder my uh, my two boys aren't over here checking out what you've got. So <laughs> we've got earrings, little soaps, maybe, the mermaids. They're all made of resin. Oh, all made of resin. There you go. Here I am thinking some of this is soap. I made all of it. All of it. Wow, that octopus is amazing. Oh, very cool. Flies are very friendly too. Uh, little rabbits, we've got owls, we've got, uh, what else have we got? We've got a heap of stuff. I'm just trying to take it all in. They look a lot heavier than what they are. Like you go to pick them up thinking they're going to be very, very heavy. Like they've still got a bit of weight about them. Uh, but yeah, very cool. Little, uh, little trinkets there, little earrings, dolphins. We've got the works, turtles, butterflies, and letters. So just amazing. Thank you so much for showing us through. Uh, have a great day. Righty, so moving on, and uh, our next stall is Sue, or brought to you by Sue. And as you can see, Sue is knitting away there. So I take it, Sue, that you make all these wonderful teddies and bears. Well, I can't take um, credit for these ones. These are all pre-loved. Oh, just, just take credit anyway. No, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. Yes, I've, I've knitted all of these ones. I've been, um, I've only been knitting toys for about ten years. But oh wow. I've been. Um, I picked up the knitting needles when I was 21, so it's 42 years ago. Oh, wow. So quite a while, but yeah. Quite a while. And yep. I, a lot of the things that I knit, I raise money for the Cancer Council. Oh, isn't that amazing? Yeah. Isn't that so don't, uh, some of the, uh, obviously, funds go or donate back. Yeah, good on you, good on you. Yeah, I've lost too many friends and family and two pet dogs to cancer, so... 12 months of the year I just fundraise for the Cancer Council. Good on you, Sue. That, look, that is amazing. These beautiful cotton um, face cloths and dish wow. cloths and everything. Oh, they're so soft too. Like, they're so, yeah, very yeah. nice. This is a new colour. Pistachio. Amazing, amazing. So, out of that ball of cotton there, how much, or how many um, would you be able to make out of those? About four or five, I think. Wow, wow, there yeah. you go. Yep, and how long would it take you to knit um, something? Well, I started this one this morning. I <laughs> see so you're halfway done. You're halfway there. Yep. Do you reckon you uh, knit me a nice stick detecting thing? Oh, 
Or do you reckon a bit too complex with the logo? Yeah, the writing and that would be a little bit hard. Yeah, because you'd have to do the white stitching on every, uh, right. in between the black. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm so. Not, I'm not into fair <laughs> It might be better if we get them screen printed. <laughs> it's so much <laughs> it quicker and easier. easier. Yeah. yeah. Uh, good on you, Sue. I'll tell you what, I've got so much respect for what you just said then, that you donate some of this back to help, yep. you know. That means a lot to so many people out there, and I'm sure a lot of people are watching this video right now. Yep. And look, if you are watching and you want to help support Sue, have you got a Facebook uh, page, Sue, at all? Oh, look at that. Yep. Look at that. I'm going to get all, all your details on there because we've got thousands of people watching right now. And uh, look, thousands of people or thousands of uh, potential uh, for people to check out your products and buy in future. So as you can and, see and there... These, these ones are Zupa Duper sleeves. Oh, they are cool. My son, uh, Dom, would love these because he has a Zupa... Or he has about two Zupa Dupas every day. Yep. He's going to turn into a Zupa Duper soon. <laughs> so there we go. Sue's Crafts and uh, look, raising money for cancer research and other charities, hand-knitted toys and accessories... A comfort dolls for Alzheimer's and you can find Sue on Facebook at Sue's Craft. So just amazing Sue, uh, Sue thank you so much. I'm going to keep your business card too if that's all right. No so great talking to you. Have a good Have afternoon. A good I look forward to seeing uh, that face washer when it's fully knitted. So yep. another, the end of the day. another hour. <laughs> I'll, give, I'll give you an hour. Okay, <laughs> Thanks Sue. See you later. Rightio, so we got to the last stall and uh, look, the two ladies there, they, they weren't really interested in filming. I, I want to do the right thing and sort of ask everybody first and foremost, are you okay on being on camera? I think it's just the right thing to do, but they weren't okay with it. So, and look, they just had a few old socks and a few things. The lady said, I'm just trying to get rid of a bit of stuff from home, mate. So I don't think, uh, don't think she was too worried about being filmed. Let's stand the night up a little bit more. Uh, we'll um, get back here though, give Helena a hand and uh, look we've still got another uh, run of stalls to go check out a little bit later and not to mention we're going to have the gumboot throwing competition a little bit later too so we're going to try and give you a look at it all and uh, get around the park and show off the rest of the stalls and not only that we've also got uh, some really cool old horse and carts uh, some old uh, you know pioneer park set up over the back there we can check out some old uh, recreated working old stuff horse and carts and look i don't even really know what's over there properly myself i've just been told about it and we'll get over there and check it out all a little bit later and give you a look yeah. Yeah, we're just checking out dom's uh, little bucket of goodies what have you been doing dom pre-game and mini golf we went to, to every place on this list every place have you been to dig it detecting yet yeah, you have. So yeah. as you can see, the kids have got a list here. That's what they've been doing, running around all the different stalls. You go to a stall, collect an item, fill your bucket and cross it off. And then uh, what do you get? Uh, stuff. We get stuff. People stuff. Go into the prize to win more stuff? No. no? We've got some jelly. Oh, jelly. Got some really cool stuff though. Pens and uh, drink bottles. This is a cool one. Look at that. Stainless steel drink bottle. Rightio, guys. We're back on the mission. We're leaving Helena in charge of the stall again. Look out. We might be come back and uh, it's blown away or it's burnt down. We just never know with Helena. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be so hard on her, should I? She's doing a great job. So we're going to go back over and start with uh, the run of stalls again. And then I'm going to get you over to the Pioneer Park and where we can go check out that old 1900s house and uh, all the old wonderful uh, horse and carts and tractors and everything cool. So what have we got here? Uh, little puppies. How cool are they? And they're all tuckered out having a snooze. Hello, fella. So we'll leave them alone. Oh, look at this little guy. Look at him. I'm going to zoom in. Look at him. He's all tuckered out. Having a good old snooze there. So moving over, we've got the chooks. Walk, 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 walk. More chooks. How you going? See, good thanks. I'm just uh, showing off a bit of what you got here, your chooks and the do the puppies are really cool. All the puppies are really cool. All tuck it out. Uh, have, on the go, yeah, getting million pats every day. Uh, how cool are the chooks? I think my partner wants chooks. So she, she didn't come down today. Uh, she yeah, she's just uh, manning the stall at the moment, so I have to. Yeah, we're at uh, dig it detecting over over with all the coins and relics and bottles. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thank you. See you later. 
I'll move on to the next stall now. I just noticed too, one of those chooks laid an egg. Rightio, so moving on to the next stall. And we've got some really cool stuff here too. I better not show the boys this because they'll be over here buying this straight away. The old smart ass, think fast, talk fast to win. That's a really cool game. That's a really cool stuff here. And uh, look, the sun has just come out, so it's heating up quite a bit and there's more people are coming as we speak. So it's really are starting to get quite busy as you can see. So some great stuff there. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, have a great day. You too. I'm moving on uh, to the next uh, stall here. It looks like we've got some handmade um, uh, baskets. Trugs, are they? Sorry, mate, I didn't know what to call them. I'm, I'm trying to think of. Ah, oh, any trug. I should have read. Many, many uses. Many, many, many uses of, of an any trug. I should have read the uh, the card there, shouldn't I? So, oh, look out, Helena's calling. That means she needs me over at the stall. So we'll, uh, we'll have to come back, take a rain check. We'll be back in a second. Alrighty, we're finally getting back to the many trugs. We're back over here to check out that stall that we got called away from before. So many trugs, really cool. That's where we, uh, we was uh, finished up there before. We're gonna go through and uh, just give you a look at everything else and we're gonna continue on with the rest of the stalls. The next one being a bit exciting for the boys. It's got a heap of uh, games there, PlayStation, Xbox, everything. So really cool, the old patches. Uh, we've got old spoons. These are, um, these are very cool, the old spoons, aren't they? Uh, everybody's grandmother had a collection of those. Even my grandmother had, had them. Interesting one there, those uh, the Queen on there. It's 1956, I think. So. Oh, it's Coronation. Coronation, I think it was. Uh, oh, no, Royal Visit, 54. Yeah, and they're EPS, they're silver, so. Oh, yeah. electro plated nickel steel. Yeah. Awesome. He's a lighthouse, is he, or no? I think it's a, a, a TV, the tower in Sydney. Oh, the Sydney Tower. Oh, Sydney Tower, it is yeah. too. Yeah. Look at that, how cool. Yeah. Uh, the old collectible spoons, and every time you went on holidays. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, was a, that was a always oh, bring one home with you'd bring one home yep as a bit of a uh, souvenir right. so and someone's went to sovereign hill ballarat <laughs> they found gold so that's cool that's cool uh, awesome more history, more history that's right i've actually got a, uh, a collection of spoons at home myself that i saved years ago and i think i got about 50 of them and i got ones with little kookaburras and and yeah all over all over australia so whoever i got them off they were very well traveled so Oh, look out, he's got uh, the hat with the... Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? You're a very well-traveled man too. Yes. British Legion, that is cool. That's the British Legion, that's the, Austra that's the English equivalent to the RSL. Wow, wow. There you go. So that's, uh, as, as he said, um, a Br British equivalent to our return service league here in Australia. That is amazing, hmm. uh, the British Legion. So... All the men would be uh, gathering around in the pub for a drink, I dare say, and chatting about the old days, and yeah, probably all the, the horrible things that they've seen and had to go through too. So yeah, no good. I'll tell you what, they deserve a beer or two. So, bloody oath. You have a good day, mate. I'll talk to you later. Ah, uh, that was awesome. God, I love talking to people. It's just so always so interesting. So, you uh, get to meet people, hear their stories, hear what they've got to say. I love it. So. PlayStation games, Xbox games, PS3, and Wii. Got some really cool stuff here. You don't mind if I film away, mate? Awesome, awesome. So that one's, uh, I've never seen that one. Is that for the Wii, is it? Yeah, Wii, it's for the uh, zombie game, the um, House of the Dead. Oh, there you go, there you go. Geez, that'll be pretty fun. Uh, we got the virtual reality at home. The boys have got uh, PlayStation 3 and, and virtual reality. And we've got the gun set up, but uh, don't often use it. So I think it was a bit of a novelty more than anything. So really cool, really cool. Oh, here's a nice old bottle. Fine old wines. AGM on the base. So he'd be about 1940s, 1950s thereabouts onwards. So really cool, really cool got a bit of everything and a lot of games a lot of games uh, awesome stuff thanks heaps mate you you too cheers more stuff going along heap of uh look pick your pick your own baskets four dollars five dollars two dollars three dollars we've got it all oh look out two dollars kath and kim there's a bargain any day of the week absolute gold so hi how are we doing you don't mind being on film 
That's my YouTube channel. So I'm, I'm currently doing a, uh, we've got our stall over there, ticket detecting stall. Yeah, we're, we're right. Really, really good, thank you. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, uh... Alrighty guys, that just wraps it up for us uh, for our stalls there. We just uh, got stuck talking to another few stall holders. And now we're gonna get over and see the lovely Helena. She's, uh, while the crowd's dried up a little bit, she's only got one person over there at the moment. We're gonna get over here though. There's a lot of, lot of going on, music and everything. So we're gonna do the best we can filming and uh, we're gonna get over here and we're gonna try and film our way uh, through all this wonderful area, the old Pioneer Park. Uh, we'll check out the 1900s old house, uh, the machinery shed. Uh, we've got the historical society there. We've got old tractors and old bikes. And uh, look, we've got a lot of stuff going on in here. And to be honest, I've never been in here. So it's gonna be all new for me too. Uh, so I can't wait to show you. So. Let's get over and see Helena, how she's going first, have some lunch, we'll get back to it in a minute. Well, we've just had Misty walk over, and uh, I'm going to introduce Misty because Misty is the star of the show right here, and uh, look, someone that has helped bring today all together. So, Misty, uh, look, wonderful day. Would it you like to... fantastic day. Can we... we get any better weather? I know, I know, I know, just amazing. Where's the ice cream? It's going to be yeah, hot. Yeah, I know, snow cones. Oh, that'll... Snow cones in that one. Snow cones, fairy, fairy yeah. floss. Snow cones, fairy floss, <laughs> hot dogs. Awesome, awesome, and hot dogs. And hot dogs. I need some lunch. Yeah. So, what are we doing soon? You were just saying there about the uh, gum boot throwing competition. Yep, so yep. We've got men's, women's, and children. And, and they're going to throw it as far as they can. Yep. And the winner gets a $220 per day this way. Unbelievable. And Amazing. I'm going to throw a gum boot. You, you or you want me to throw a gum boot? You, you trust me to throw a gum boot. Well, we did this way, this <laughs> way, not that way, so you won't take out anybody. <laughs> so, hang on. If last year you had a throwing competition, yeah. that did they all end up on the roof or? No, some, they got real close to some walkers by, so <laughs> change it up a bit. Imagine the lady over there, she was out in her back garden having a pleasant cup of tea, doing a bit of gardening, trimming her lawn, and all of a sudden these gumboots <laughs> flying over. Oh great, they're doing the gumboot throwing competition again. Uh, awesome, I'll join in, I'll yeah, be in it. i got long excellent. arms, yep. I can throw along. Wow. So, does someone have to be down the other end catching them? That's what the boys are for. The boys are for? The boys are going to catch them. There you go. Back. And retrieve them. <laughs> Just retrieve them and bring them back. So, and Misty, I've been walking around this morning talking to stall holders, checking out all the stuff. Yep. Uh, amazing. Awesome. Amazing. You've done an amazing job. Oh, thank you. Bring it all much. together. You should, you should be really proud. So, awesome. thank yeah. You. And uh, look, I've done my way around, but I haven't made it across the track yet to check out the Pioneer Park. Oh, I'm going to get over and that's film. A must -do. Yeah. That's a must -do. Yeah. I've sort of been hanging off, leaving the best yeah. to the end. So, I've dragged out my carriages today so you can see them properly. Awesome, awesome. Angus is over there. Angus is, he's bucket stop number 11. Awesome, I'm going to go see Bucket Man. Hiding in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool, oh, we're going to get over there in a second. We'll go see Angus, uh, which is uh, Misty's husband. And uh, look, my old boss, uh, we'll get over there and check out Angus's, uh, what Angus is up to. I'm going to get a drink bottle off him too. They look yeah, awesome. Yeah, you need a drink bottle. Yeah, they look amazing. So. They are fantastic. Awesome. All right, lunchtime, and uh, thank you, Misty. Thank you. Have we'll, a good day. You too. You too. We'll see you a little bit later on. We'll keep going and keep filming. Awesome. All righty, guys. We're a little bit late out of the gate. As you can see, everybody is over here, and we're ready to start doing uh, the boot toss. So I've got the boys over here somewhere, and they're helping Misty set up the gum boots. So we're going to get over here. We're going to do the boot, uh, boot toss as well. See who can throw the gum boot the furthest. What are we doing, boys? Doing it's boot tossing time. Okay. <laughs> All right. First tosser. First tosser. First tosser. <laughs> I'm here. There you go. There's a boot boy. Twelve to eighteen. Twelve to eighteen. Twelve to eighteen. Twelve to eighteen. Twelve to eighteen.
Go on. Go, Dom. Look out, we nearly had a gun boot hit a, uh, hit a spectator, hit the crowd, went wild, went thrown off the side, and I missed it on film, sorry. And we're uh, currently doing the under 12s at the moment. I'm not sure who the winner is or what the winning uh, measurement is just yet. Let's see what we get this time. Let's see if we get hit in the face with a gun boot. Look out! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> who started this tradition? I don't know. The gun boot throwing competition. It's got to be started by a farmer, surely. Probably a, uh, a game that was started on the farm between, uh, between kids. Who can throw the gun boot the furthest? Down to the dairy. Let's see if this one hits the crowd. That last one nearly took out a couple of kids and a lady. Crazy. <laughs> Very cool. How good is it too? Like, you know, beautiful day. Everybody's out here enjoying. We've got quite the crowd. It's just an amazing, amazing time. So very, very family-friendly day, which I'm all, all about. So love it. Kyle's up next. Go, Kyle. Big throw. Whoop. Hit the ground. Ah, awesome, awesome. We'll keep going. We're not going to stand here all day watching gumboot throws. We'll keep coming back as we go because we've still got a lot more filming and we've still got to get over to the Pioneer Park, which we have not done just yet. I'm just coming over here, uh, Misty. And I'm to gonna... look at my atrocious writing. I am, I am. Wow. Who's got the love heart? Oh, no, that's a circle. I didn't get it. <laughs> I'm just joking. So what do we got? 31.10. I meant to go it higher in the air. So the winner is Aryan Cousins. I meant to go it. <laughs> I meant to go Well done. Higher. Well done. What did you get, Harrison? 31.10. 31.10. Good throw. I was meant to aim higher. <laughs> At least you didn't hit the crowd. Well done, buddy. All right, let's get over and uh, look, let's do the, uh, the Pioneer Park now. And uh, let's go see Angus, which I've been waiting to see him all day. Well, something I should just mention as we're walking over to see Angus, see all this grass strip here? I'm allowed to detect this any time I want. That's the next time I, oh, look, I don't even need the metal detector. We found 10 cents on the ground. How good's that? Eagle Eye Jack. <laughs> I'll give that to the boys later. But yeah, look, this spot here, we're gonna detect it one day. And Misty's got me permission, full permission. Not only that, there's a local race course that she's got me full permission for too. So look out, we've got a lot to do in around the local area. Oh, uh, pretty cool. Wonder if 10 cents will fit in here. No, it won't. Let's go have a look. What do we got? Stuff. Really cool stuff. I don't even know if we're allowed in here. We're in here though. How yeah, cool. Cool stuff, isn't there? <laughs> Hamburgers, dim sims, drinks, Barbie. Where is Angus? He's hiding. Pots, we've got coasters. How cool are coasters? A bit of everything. Oh, 1749, he's an old one. <laughs> really cool. There's heaps, heaps. More stuff over the back here. Hey, that's pretty cool. Casino set. I can start up my own casino. Oh, wow. Empire State Building. Really cool. Really cool. We still haven't found Angus though. Where is he? Where's he hiding? Oh, hang on. Here's the cool stuff. Super spreader. Old super spreader. All the super would go in the back there. And no doubt it would flick out over the back there. Let's go around this pole through the chain link fence. So flick out the back there. No doubt as the wheels turned, it turned the, uh, the chain, which turned that little, uh, well, the little spinner disc at the back, flicking the super out. So 
Got a little Morris at the back there by the looks. We've got a Fergie. We've got another Fergie. One of those, no, nah, I was gonna say one of them could be a David Brown, but they're not. I used to drive tractors like that and my grandfather had them. And you know what, when I was a kid, we used to sit up on those wheel arches there as my grandfather would drive us around the farm. So uh, Pa would be in the chair, obviously. Uh, there'd be two grandkids, you know, me and my brother and uh, my sister and her, her, my other sister up on the other mud, uh, mud guard there. And there used to be the belt driver. Uh, some people probably know what I'm talking about. You had the belt roller for the PDO shaft to go at the back and they had the big leather belt. We used to stick our feet on the, uh, the leather belt as it was rolling around. Oh, h and S, eat your heart out. So that sort of stuff does not happen these days. It's, um, it's very rare to see a tractor like that nowadays without uh, actually the ROPS protection, which is your rollover protection system, which uh, become mandatory on tractors. Uh, look, back when I was doing my apprenticeship, my dairy farming apprenticeship, so you can see this guy's got it, the ROPS uh, rollover protection. This one doesn't, he's the death trap. We'll stay away from him. So another cedar spreader by the looks. We've got a, uh, a rake at the back there. Another cedar spreader by the looks. And another rake, a little rake, tiny, but uh, still no Angus. So plows, awesome. I just love this stuff. Seed drill, uh, look, another super cedar, I'd say. Um, what else have we got? Hay raking or oh, road making. That's cool. No wonder I don't recognize it. Road making. Right, so you've got the, uh, the blade at the back there, the leveling blade to level the road and the scooper bucket at the front, probably to scoop up take away what you need so we've got the road plow grader and broom equipment used to build the roads in the old Hatesbury Shire are donated by young farmers in 1968 how awesome is that and how amazing is that poor long plow so and actually funnily enough if you go into the plow history uh, stump jump plow oh my god there's more in there we're gonna go in there in a minute maybe Angus is in there you go back to the old uh, history of the stump jump plow that was actually designed here right here in Victoria Australia so really cool by old farmers more stuff it just never ends where is angus so old generators pumps uh most likely out of the dairies oh yeah no doubt milk cans uh, cups you've got um lines and pulsators got a bit of everything you got um plate coolers and vats or not vats but um the old milk separators you got uh, lanterns uh, simplex sewing machines, more milk cans. You know what's really cool about milk cans too? A lot of time when you see them, uh, keep an eye on them because around the milk can, often on the side, you'll have a little brass plaque and the brass plaque will indicate uh, who owned that milk can. You know, it might say uh, Mr. J. McKenzie or Mr. Al Phillips. Uh, I didn't, uh, didn't have my own milk cans, but it, it would have said something like that. So old horse and uh, wagon, really cool. Really cool. Imagine the trips that this thing would have took, but still no Angus. Where is he? I've never been here, so I don't know where I'm going. Let's just walk. <laughs> Very cool. Ah, oh, look at this. Warnable, Coroit, Port, uh, Port Ferry, F Morse. And this should have a, um, a carriage, uh, carriage maker's plate on it somewhere. And I'll tell you what's one thing I haven't found yet. G'day there, buddy. Don't kick me. Look out, we're going underneath. Whoop. Male, female, I don't know. Uh, no carriage maker plate on this though. It's something that I always uh, look for to find when I'm out on the old sites. And I'm still yet to find one. It's one of the only things I probably haven't got off my bucket list uh, just yet. Look at that, we've got the old horse rings. Really cool. A lot of the horse tack. Stuff that we find detecting. It's, uh, look, just amazing. I love this sort of stuff. So let's get under the horse again without him biting me. Uh, pretty cool. All the old stirrup gear. And the old blinkers. Yeah, close your eyes, fella. Uh, awesome. Let's move on to the next. Oh, what have we got in here? Bottles. Oh my god. Wow. Well, I thought I had some bottles. I do. I got over 600 at home. But this is most impressive. <laughs> most impressive. Wow. The more I turn around, the more I see. You know what, too? We're going to respect the rules, you know, we're not going to walk across there. It is all under surveillance, but I reckon if Misty was in here and I asked her right now, I reckon I could get up close and walk around and check all this out, which, look, we might do at another day. So, old beer bottle blacks, how cool are they? Got a few of those at home, quite a few. Oh, cow tags. Cow tags. Look at them all. Isn't that amazing? So, what we all love to find, all this stuff is just 
Ah, look, it's phenomenal. What a treasure trove. So let's zoom in on the back there. You see all the wonderful little ink bottles. Uh, we've got medicine bottles. We've got perfume bottles. We've got torpedo bottles. God, look at the stuff, eh? Detector of stream inside here. All the biscuit tins, Anzac tins, coffee tins. Wow, Milo tins, sugar tins. A lot of those tins my Nana had. So Marchant bottles, we've got a few of those for sale on the table, and Tarax and Haze, look out, and Coke. So that is just amazing. There's so much cool stuff in here. We better keep our voice down, baby's sleeping over the back. So a vacuum oil company, we've got one of those over at the stand for sale too. The old plume oil. So very cool, very cool. Amazing, I don't wanna leave. I just wanna keep standing here looking in awe, as I'm sure you do. We'll come back another day and give it another look. Still no Angus, let's go find him. Angus. Angus, no. <laughs> oh dear, McCormick. I used to drive McCormick, did not look like this. Let's have a look what else we got. Cars, Land Rovers, a Mother Goose. Ah, oh, just keeps going. Let's go have a look in here. Oh my God. This is an old primary school or set up like an old primary school. The Narangil Primary School. This is probably the original building. I'd say it is. I don't really know much about it. I'd have to ask Misty once again. Fennel. Clear type, how awesome. Pretty rare to find a clear type. Generally, they're all amber. Knock, knock. Excuse me, miss, can I come in? <laughs> Amazing. You, you can tell I'm in my element right now. You know, I just sort of love this stuff. It's just phenomenal. So some of the history of the old Narangal School. I'll be asking uh, Misty where that one was, who owns the property. I'm sure I can get onto it. I'm sure she knows. So little ink bottles up in the, uh, the cupboard. Some people watching may remember those and even the little quills to go with it. As I said, some people watching this video may remember those and even the old desks here. Now, I'm not that old. I was born 87. So that puts me in the 36 year old vintage era type, model, age. I don't know what you call it. But um, look, I still remember using these desks myself. So there you go. So showing my age there, aren't I? Not for very long, only in primary school. I still remember using them, and uh, I dare say your little ink bottles would have went up there. We never had them. We just used to put our pens in the little, um, in the little valleys there. So in the little cutout section, how cool is this? The green men. <laughs> love it, love it. Even what the, uh, the stuff that they were reading back then was cool. So, and that's where the teacher would have sat. Let's, uh, let's have a look at the class. Bit of a rowdy class it is. Calm down, would you? We're trying to teach a lesson. So, very cool. Inspector's report book. We can see how the kids were doing in school. Uh, Mr. Luke Phillips, he's always being disruptive. He could perform a whole lot better. He always late to class. Uh, look, probably what most of my reports read back in the day. Uh, Luke is not applying himself like we know that he can. <laughs> so, I didn't like school. I like being hands-on. Uh, you know, the subjects I did well in uh, are woodwork and sheet metal and, and heavy metal and all the things hands-on, as you can imagine. So, one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, seven, seven, ten, twenty, seven, ninety, six hundred. Done. So, perfect. Old um, Cobden School Cadets. That is really cool. <gasps> oh, my God. Would you look at that? He's got a snake buckle on. How cool is that? I wonder if they all had snake buckles. <gasps> this kid does too. Maybe they were all issued snake buckles and that is 1906. So there you go, this whole cadet force have probably had snake buckles. Mr. Officer Man in the middle does not have a snake buckle, but I dare say all those kids do. They do too. There's another one right there. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. There look, 24 snake buckles right there that could potentially be found. And what have we got over here? We've got uh, Cobden Militaria, or Militia, sorry, I should say, at Queenscliff. Training at Queenscliff. There was a camp, uh, campground, military uh, campground down at Queenscliff. So there we go. I'm really showing off my local area right now, aren't I? And, uh, and the old primary school, which I just think is brilliant. So anyway, let's take our bike and uh, let's ride home. Just joking. We better keep walking. 
So just uh, look around here, we've got the old Landy, really cool. We find them out in the paddocks, the old properties, farm properties. We've got more horse and carts and buggies, even the old uh, uh, fire uh, firefighting pump wheel. I don't exactly know what to call them. A really cool one. I've actually found a little badge uh, with one of those on it, and it's an 1880s uh, fire badge uh, commemorating, uh, well, commemorating 100 years. So really, really cool. Trans Ams, Thunderbirds. Um, what do we got? MGs, Holdens, Fords, Holden, 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 Camry. No, that's not supposed to be here. So really cool. Old cars. We're not, um, look, I used to love my cars. Used to be really interested in them. And we're not here for the cars though. So we might have a bit of a walk around later. I am still trying to find Angus though. So we might come back to the cars. It might be something more for Helena to check out a little bit later. Oh, nice uh, HQ over the back there. Very nice, couple of prems. Very nice, this is where the crowd's hiding. So we'll just get around. Oh, I've got to check this guy out. I'm not here to look at cars, but uh, this one I certainly am. Old Ford, how cool is that? And we often find these um, uh, these hubcaps in the ground, you know, uh, when you're metal detecting. So very cool pieces, I better not touch this thing. So keep my hands behind my back. Like a, like a big kid, I can't help but touching. Look at the floorboards, the runner boards. Yeah, cool. Crank start motor. Little skinny minis. Skinny mini spoke wheels on it. Oh, stop touching. Don't touch stuff. Very cool. All right, quick look around the car. Where is Angus? I'm going to find him. Oh, we didn't find Angus just yet, but we found the blacksmith shop. Oh, actually, I can see Angus. There he is. Angus McBuff. How are you, buddy? Good. Some We're amazing just... stuff here, isn't it? Oh, mate, we did the walk around. Actually, I missed all these pumps. We just walked straight past them. I was too busy going in all the sheds. Yeah, we just did. Did you see all the bottles in there and what's in this one? Mate, half the bottles I've got on my table for sale oh. at the moment. And I actually said when I was in there, I said, uh, I'd love to jump over the rope, but I better not. But if Missy or Angus are in here, they'd probably let me. Looking here. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, that's what I said. I said oh, we'll probably probably let me, I'll just but um, it's all right. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna check out the um, the blacksmith shop quickly. Show the viewers this. We've been looking for you for about half an hour. I've walked in. <laughs> you probably walked that way, and I walked this way. Walked way. Yeah. So yeah, look, just showing the viewers everything in here. I've been uh, look absolutely amazed and in awe with what you've got on display here. So uh, there is so yeah. much stuff here. I've not even seen it all. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, in that shed, did you? We've got a bone shaker. It's oh. one of three in the world. Serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I haven't seen um, it yet. We'll take you down there next. Yep. Um, the Fletcher Jones, original Fletcher Jones carriage, horse-drawn carriage is out the front there. Wow. Um, wow. No one knows we've got any of this. Unreal. And they do now. It's all on camera. <laughs> there's so much stuff uh, here that I've, I've been here uh, probably about 20, 30 times, and I still haven't seen everything. Yep. Um, yep. Like the old school buildings. Just in there. I was just in there. I was, I was just ringing the teacher's bell at the desk. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, see, up at the, the restoration park, which is the next park on, yep. there's a full church. There's more, more sheds again. I never knew that all this was here. No. Like, I knew it was a bit, but I never knew to this extent. This so, is, uh, phenomenal. The Pioneer Park or Cobden Dairy Park. Next one is Southwest Restorations. Right. They yep. rebuild by the digger. Sheds full of these things. Are they the blokes who do all this here no, in front of us? or? That's his shed in there, the guy who does this one. Okay. Yep. Um, this is all different people. Up there is another group again. Yep. That do the same thing. Cobden's where it's at. Would you would you recommend anybody watching right now to come down and check out Cobden? Oh, oh definitely, definitely. You never know what's here. Like yep. The, we've got the big bar out the front here. Uh, we've got the miniature trains and the mini golf, and then you've got history that you just can't get past. What what days? Like if anybody is sitting there going, oh, I'd like to come check this out. What days? These ones are open on weekends. The restora the restoration park is open once or twice a year. Yep. Um, at the moment, this is open every, pretty much weekends, but Sue's around, so it might be open during the day. Yep. Um, and at the moment, the school holidays, the trains and the mini golf run, yep. otherwise it's once a month. Awesome, awesome. And Facebook page, you can all find all the Facebook, details. All on Instagram. Yep. Cobden Historical Society or Cobden Pioneer Park? Cobden 
Dairy Park or Cobden Pioneer Park? Yep, type in Cobden, you'll find it. Yeah, yep. perfect. Look uh, for the big butter. Yep, yep. You'll find us. Yep, perfect. And go look for Angus and he'll take you around. He'll show you everything. Uh, listen to that motor just popping away over the back there. Yeah, running on, it's running on fresh air, that thing. <laughs> uh, let's have a quick look in here, and then uh, we're going to go with Angus, and we're going to check out some more stuff. So, chaff cutter, grinding wheels, buggy jack. I didn't know that. I'm just reading. We've got the jinker over the back there. I knew that one. The old blacksmith bellows. Now, they are amazing, and you find them in all the old blacksmith workshops. And there's actually some on display at uh, Sovereign Hill in Ballarat. And uh, well, look, that's how they're set up. They pumped air into the uh, into the coal pit and helped the fire, or helped the blacksmith uh, create that uh, that heat in the fire. A couple of old anvils there. Is that a turbo? It's not a turbo. Is that's an old water pump? It's a forge. It's a bellows. Oh, is that a bellows? It's a crank bellows. I'm stepping over the rope. I'm sorry. I'm I'm over the rope. So we won't um, we won't crank him. We'll just give you a look at the handle over the back. So there you go. I thought it was a water pump. Looks like a turbo. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, hand crank uh, bellows. So you would have probably had a pipe coming off here, running down to your um, to your fire. Get off me, uh, cobwebs and stuff. It's <laughs> what you get when you're playing around with old stuff. Uh, but yeah, old bellows, old hand crank bellows. So whose was the job to hand crank that? They would have had a um, a pretty muscly right arm, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, poor apprentice. Grinding wheels, cast iron pots. You've got the old shoe, uh, the old boot, uh, boot maker. Uh, look, I don't know what they're called. But that's how they made the shoes, tacked them on with the, um, the little plate there. Tractor seats, milk cans. Mm -hmm. They look a bit funny, I haven't seen that type of milk cans. Milk urns. The right. That's what they used to be. Right, there you go. And we've got something else over the back here, I'm not quite sure what it is. I would say the table saw. Table saw? Oh yeah, the blade's just laying down. No, the blade's down behind it. If you. If you go on the there, you can oh, see. yep, yep. So you can see the blade uh, straight through the side there. I thought it was going to go through the middle. So, man, this is awesome. I'm loving life. This is cool. Milk motors. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Loving it. In this one here? Yeah. What do these do? Oh, that's cool. Here, take my strong hand. Oh, I'm getting wet. <laughs> that's awesome. I've got one at home. Oh, lady? What's, what's she doing in there? Wow. The old cast iron bath? Coffin bath. Coffin bath. Why is it in the coffin shape? Wow. How would I get in that? I'm six foot two and a bit. Try me. How would you get in that? <laughs> Plus you're on crutches, that makes it even harder. I'll get my feet in there. <laughs> uh, Angus, how long's that guy been there? Your patient uh That's I think my last girlfriend. <laughs> I think your last patient died. You know doctor mate. Uh, we had a lot of fun working together, Angus and I, as you can imagine. Uh, Angus was on my boss for what, over a year? waiting for him to come back so he can boss me around again. Uh, but look, we had a lot of fun working together and uh, look, always mucking around, joking, talking. A lot of the time we had to concentrate on getting the work done, didn't we? Right. <laughs> How long's the lady been here for? I don't know, she's, old. she's, she's got her pants down. She's on the toilet. Oh, that's why. Well, that makes sense. You don't go to the toilet with your pants up, do you? Otherwise you'll saw yourself. Right, what else we got? Electrolux, uh, refrigerator, gas refrigerator, really cool. Stop touching stuff, Luke. Uh, Imperial super diesel motor, really cool. Heap of little generator motors over the back here, running right the way through. More over the back here. As I said, just amazing. I've, I've never quite seen a setup just like this, uh, just how much they've got on offer to show off on display here. So look at the old shingle roof. How amazing is that? They'd lay every little shingle plate on top of each other and the water would just run down, run off. I think it's just awesome. So. More motors, more generators, more cast iron wheels. A heap of stuff. A heap of stuff. Made oh, mate. in Sweden. Made in Sweden. Wow. What is it? It's a boat motor. It's a pion jar. A pion jar. Motor bore. 
Uh, I can't read Swedish, so I don't know any more of it. In snap instruction. <laughs> In snap instruction. That's cool. That is cool. Listen to that motor popping away. He's having a hell of a time out there, isn't he? Oh, yeah. See ya. Uh, care, that's a one, so it's in the 40s. Uh, kerosene? Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. In here. Yeah, some of these ones. Oh, yeah. I actually missed this. Must have walked straight past this. Wow. Inks. Inks. That is old. That's a London ink right there. Because, I mean, they're, they're really uncommon. I Out of all the ink bottles I've ever found, I've only got two or three of them. Like, they are rare. God. Cobalt blue inks again. God. Uh, chemist, you got Bennett's, Colac. I bet you don't have a Dr. J. Scholl. <laughs> a very, very rare bottle. Sorry, mate. Heap of milk bottles at the back there. Really cool. We've got Geo Hay, Colac bottles, a Colac aerated water bottles, we've got beers, we've got Cokes, and we've got insulators. Awesome. And we've got a little fish bottle in there. Man, that's a bottle collection. Oh, you've got a Mason's Payton jar. Do you know that is the first type screw jar ever made in history? It was 1870s, 1880s, it was made in America. And it's one of the very, and you've got the lid that goes on it. And it's a five, it's a five one, so they're the rarest ones because they're the ones used for moonshine. Yeah, and the one I've got is the bigger type, which is the more common type. I've never ever seen a small type variety. Yeah, so that there, right there, is a Mason's Peyton J. See how he's got a bit of purple in him? Now, that would be because of the manganese they were using in the glass. And it's got 1858. I think that's the patent uh, from when the company started. I don't think that's when the bottle started, but I could be wrong. I want for you to Google and research and check out Mason's uh, old early jar, the old early screw type jar. So, very cool, very cool. Let's get past these noisy trucks. What have we got here? Oh, how did I miss all this? We'll uh, absorb the beauty here first, Angus. We've got little poison bottles, green. Uh, I don't know what this is. Soft drink, you reckon? It's quite a nice bottle. We've got uh, old toothpaste lid. I've never seen that one. He's probably another toothpaste lid. What do we got? Something cream. Something cream. Oh, shaving cream. That'll be. Shaving cream. Unreal. Unreal. Amazing. Right, now let's absorb the next. Oh, my God. That is like... Wait, can I take the boxes? <laughs> you can. Are they sat out for me? No. Like Luke, five bucks each? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I knew it was worth me coming today. So in here, we've got all the cobalt blue. We've got a little drug medicine bottle. We've got a castor oil, a little castor oil, a not to be taken poison, a little not to be taken poison, more not to be taken poisons. Isn't that amazing? <gasps> I've never seen a blue stopper. That one's got the cork and it's still, that one's still got a lid on it. Oh my god. Let me drink whatever's in that one. <laughs> Probably wouldn't hurt you anymore. <laughs> my skin might turn reptilian. Who knows? Uh, probably wouldn't hurt me anymore. Oh man, the holes that I've dug. I've probably um, absorbed that much mercury and arsenic. Uh, <laughs> and asbestos. Man, that's amazing. There's more in that one, but right there. All right, we're going in here, but before we go in this doorway, I just want to point out one thing that I'm just looking at quickly. That's we're, gonna, we're gonna come back to that. Can you? Does that? How does that work? That's not a lift. Like that's not a man-made operated. Yeah. That's like a not not a man-operated chainsaw, though, is it? Yes, it is. We'll come back to Let's that one. All right, we're gonna come back to that one. I've never seen it like that. All right, that's awesome. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Can, um... That's a coffin. That's a hearse. Mate, I'm looking for a new place to live. Uh, can I move in here? Yeah. Is that okay? I'll live amongst all this. I'll put my bed in the back there with the buggies. Actually, I could sleep in the back of that hearse. That's not weird, is it? No. No, not, not at all. No. I'm ready for when I die. So, ah, oh, look at this. 
Wow. So we've got all the history up here, even the men making the wheels, and I've seen that process done. Re redoing it. Oh, okay. That's what these guys here do. Yep. Yeah, I actually seen this process done. They were doing it up at Sovereign Hill, and they um, they put the wooden wheel in steam, or they steam it and shrink the wood, yep. and they heat the ring up, and they drop the ring over the and top, they, and, and they it they do the opposite. The metal contracts, the wood expands. Yeah, and they pour water over it to put the seize the two together and lock them together. Isn't that just phenomenal? Uh, what a technique! Amazing, amazing. See, it's a bone shaker. Oh wow. Cobden's 200 year old bike. Bone Shaker. Bone Shaker Hobby Horse. Restored by HB Lamb in 1969. And it's 1820 built. So that's 200. Over 200 years old. Just amazing. And there's only two or three of them in the world. That is amazing. I'd, like, I want to say, can I ride it? But I'd never, ever ride it because, it, like, how could you... Like, that's the display piece only forever now. You've rode it, haven't you, Angus? No. <laughs> What's, um, what, what do you do up here, though? Like, if you... Your bum sits there. That's Elbows. a fair... Oh, yeah, of course. And you, you straddle that bit and you kick your legs up behind you once you've got it going. Yep. Your elbows sit. On the cushion. Oh, yes. Isn't that phenomenal? I've never ever seen anything like it. And you know what? Half the people probably watching this video have never seen anything like it. So, that is phenomenal. Few have. Wow. I want to ride it. Why do I want to ride it so bad? Because it looks like it should be. <laughs> it looks, yeah, that's right. It looks like it should be uh, ridden. Look at the, um, look, even look at the ornateness of it just being made. But look at the headset. So, someone probably knocked this up and uh, put all the headset together. Just amazing, it's actually got um, uh, cast plate underneath to give it the support. But how they even bent that wood and made it into that shape. And uh, look, made and design it is phenomenal. I love it, I love it. So let's go check out that badass chainsaw. French Calais, Calais, however you say it. Look at all the buggies in here. Saddles. I could be in here for days. And you know what? Helena's probably wondering uh, if I've went home already or not because she hasn't seen me for about an hour. Hope she's okay. Insulators, wow. Man, you've got it all down here. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely everything you could possibly look for. Like, yeah. You've got to look in the corners, like you've got two scythes hanging up there. You've got drawbars for between your um, oxen. Yeah, like just things that you, as you say, you come here 28 times and you'll still never see it all. Just phenomenal. And I need to stop touching stuff. If everybody was like me and walked around touching stuff. Two policemen. Ah, oh, police signs. Yeah, same. I'll probably prefer that last one. This one here. GR police station. God, that's old. Regina. Yeah. Yep. Unbelievable. I'm in awe, mate. I'm absolutely in awe. Even the old yeah. signs for the... Um... From Kurumungal Prison. Oh, yeah. Yep, Camp Kurumungal. And you know what? When I was grade six, I went down there and, uh, on camp. I never knew it was a uh, old prison camp. Yep. Old, old internment camp, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. So there you go. We've even got the, uh, the wool uh, classing tables where they'd class all the wool and even the signs where they'd um, spray them, had to spray the wool and all the bags, I suppose, the, char uh, the wool bags before they'd send them off. So you knew whose wool was who. And the old wool press. God, I haven't seen one of those in a while. I used to be a shearer, you know. I was, yeah. oh, not, not, you know, for a long time. But I was, uh, I've done shearing and I've done rousing, you know, uh, yep. uh, scraping up all the, uh, the wool, putting in the wool bale press here. Did not look like that, though. Ours is made of metal. Uh, no, nah, ours was newer. Oh, so the one at the back? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably even newer again, yeah. God, there's some old ones here. I don't think we've ever seen one like that with the big plate, manufacturer's plate on the front. So, amazing. Yes, buddy? We're going. Going? Yeah, we're starting to pack up. Alright, so out of that shed, another awesome shed. Back near the noisy motor again. Running on air, that thing, I swear. I can't see a fuel tank. 
Uh, look, over to the chainsaw though. Angus is going to pick it up and he's going to demonstrate how it's used. Look at the blade, would ya? Oh, look at the grabber too. In case it wasn't dangerous enough, let's put a big uh, arm on it just to grab the log and suck the saw in more and make it unstoppable. <laughs> wow. Phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Spins around, throwing the, the saw back and forth. Yep. You've got yep. those on there to hold the, um, the teeth in it, the, the log up against the teeth. Yep. So one each side, just sort of grab it and pierce it and yeah. pull yeah. the saw in. That end you leave connected to the, the buggy, the horse, or whatever. Yep. Yeah. And I suppose you just tell the horse to back up a little bit, I suppose, or, you know, like walk the horse backwards a bit, yeah. get on your log, uh, do your log, and then. To give your horse a smack on the bum and tell it to get out of the way? No, just, they just stand there and you just start her up and crank it. Yep, and cut your log with the horse. So the horse is attached to that. From what I understand, that Imagine that. to the, the back of the, tra the, um, the, the harness to go to the carriage. Imagine if you're a horse oh, and, yeah. like, could you imagine being a horse and having this thing attached to your bum? Yeah, no. <laughs> and you're a horse, you'd be sitting there going, what the hell am I in for? What am I doing? What's the farmer got me doing today? Chopping wood, that's all. Uh, what else have we got in here? Fordson. You know what's funny too? Zave just come over and said, oh, Dad, we're um, packing up now. I've been over here for that long with Angus, or looking for Angus. Uh, you were like, where's Wally, fella? I couldn't, couldn't find you. I've been there for the whole time. look for you. So I've been over here that long with Angus that, um, yeah, look, I've actually, uh, I've actually needed back over at the stall to help start packing up so the uh, the market is finished and everybody's going to start heading off oh the old uh, herd test equipment milk sample i was just looking at the old plate coolers and, and cups and everything on the wall there so really really cool looks like a drug lab in here mate uh, <laughs> what have you been cooking Nothing. just amazing Tequila. just amazing Old, uh, old belt driven motors, these are really cool. Sort of similar to what I was saying there before with the old Fergie tractor. You'd have the, uh, the pulley wheel that would come off the tractor running off the motor, it would run through and give, um, well, give you your pickup, uh, your PDO shaft. So, very cool. Your old separators, awesome. Uh, kids would have sat there for, well, hours cranking these uh, every morning, separating the milk and the cream. And as you, as you uh, crank the handle, I've actually seen how these work. Oh. Sorry, Angus, I'm breaking stuff. What else is new? <laughs> I'm touching stuff, not with, my, um, not with my hand at the moment, with the back of my leg. So as the kid, um, well, there's the handle there. I walked on the wrong side. As the, uh, the kid's job it would normally be, it would crank uh, the, uh, the handle. The milk would be poured in here, and the milk and the cream, the cream would get flung out on the sidewall, and the cream would come out this one, I think, from memory. Uh, one of them, anyway. And uh, the milk would come out the other. So as you crank the handle, it's just what it says, it would separate the milk from the cream. And I think, look, that's a pretty phenomenal invention. If you, uh, if you looked at a bucket of uh, milk with cream on top, how would you decide to sort that? Uh, and, you know, make, a, make something to sort it. So really, really cool. Whoever made it definitely thought out the process of doing so. Got the old Victor lawnmowers, awesome. I still got a Victor lawnmower today. Not looking like that though. We've got the old, ah, oh, now I know what these are. These are shaft cutters, they're hay knives. And the reason why I know that is because I was talking to an old farmer and he had a ton of these up along his shed wall. He had a massive shed and I swear to God, he had about a hundred of these aligning his whole shed wall. And I took a bit of an interest and I, his name was Chris actually. I said to Chris, what's with the big knives up the back there, mate? And he said, well, I'm an avid collector of them. And the only reason being is because when I was a kid, it was my job to go out and cut up the silage. And my dad would give me one of these big knives and I'd have to go down and I'd cut it all up and uh, get it ready for the cows. So he said, over the years, now I'm older and I'm retiring. Uh, look, I'm liking to collect, you know, going around to the markets and collect stuff. He's collecting all these old silage knives, the old hay knives, uh, just as a bit of a, uh, look, a bit of a memory from when he was a kid having to use them himself. And not only that, they're sort of a, uh, well, not many people know about them, do they? No. Like if you, if I took that I, in, and- I had a few that I didn't know until I moved here. Yeah, and look, if I, look, apart from the name below saying hay knives, I didn't even look at that. But if I hadn't met Chris that day and spoke to him about his obsession with hay knives, I would never have known what they are. I would have said to you, Angus, what is that? Yeah. So yeah, 
it's just getting that appreciation for the stuff that we're seeing in front of us, you know, and you, you get an appreciation and you really learn about it. So these are all hay knives down the bottom too with the, uh, the big jagged edges in them, uh, but they just would have been used a little bit, yeah, a little bit harder, uh, coarser material. So two hands too, would have been quite the effort to get through all that. Imagine as a kid uh, trying to uh, cut through all the silage and hay. All chainsaws again, unreal. No horse attached to this one. <laughs> Goes on like your tractor. Oh yeah, yep, yep. But see, look at the size of that motor. You want to hang on to that, trying to cut your tree up. Unbelievable. Is that why I got? Uh, is that why it's still in the log today? Someone, <laughs> someone tried cutting, and they're like, "Oh, bugger this! I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go donate it to the historical society." The way it sits, so uh, I'm gonna go buy a still. <laughs> and he's still got it today. Yes. All right, let's have a look. What else have we got? We got. Southern Cross Motors, we've got inline sixes over the back there by the looks. Six or eights, I'd say they're sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cylinder. There we go. Really cool. Milk cart with a heap of milk cans. Remember I said sometimes you'll get the, uh, the little brass plate uh, of the owners of the milk cans, uh, their name on the side. So these are cool. I can't believe you've got one of these. Like you never ever see these at all ever anywhere. No. I'm gonna put it on the front of my car on the way home. It'll be, cool, <laughs> It'll be cool. And that was the purpose. When people were back in the oh look early days, 50s, 60s, even earlier, you're going right back to uh, Model T's, uh, 30s back with this. Uh, that is the old water bag, and they'd fill it full of water, hang it on the front bumper, and as they go for a drive, it would cool down. You'd have nice, fresh, cool water to drink on uh, on at the end of your journey, wouldn't you? So paper press. Tandarook Cheese Factory. Which is just down the other side of Cobden. Yep, yep. All the way down to um, Jancourt or Simpson. Tandarook yep. Cheese is just on the left. There you go, there you go. Beautiful building. It's so good that all this stuff's been donated and it's been able to be sat and appreciated in one spot. Like, if that was still at Tandarook Cheese Factory, like, yeah, it'd be great. But how good is it to have it here with all this stuff amongst it? So, amazing. Bamford Motor. Look at the fuel tank. On the old England, Fordson. England, Fordson. Fordson, England, is it? Yeah. Right. Oh, the fuel tank. oh, yeah, Ford Motor Company, England. Isn't that amazing? I thought Ford was American. Henry Ford. What's it doing in England? Oh, there's the um, roller wheel I was talking about before. So the belt would have went on this and it would have ran back to where you, uh, we'll look where your shaft or whatever was driving running off the belt was so very cool very cool what is it it's a dumper. little mirror truck dumper so it looks like what they had in the army in world war ii yes it is yes. oh there you go i know my i know my stuff well, i like to think i do anyway it's these are called your little um uh mer dump, uh, mer dump trucks m-u-i-r they're a silent eye and the kids have been painting it by the looks. How awesome. So, Murr dump truck. Can I paint something? Dig it, detective. <laughs> I should. I don't think I have enough time. Oh, the paintbrush is all painty like. Let's paint. Let's paint. Oh, I see a spot that's not painted. Can I paint the motor? Cool. Bit on the hydraulic line there. Bit on the accelerator cable. Hey? Does it? Yeah, it uses it all the time. It won't now, I just painted the accelerator cable. <laughs> Let's paint the bell housing of the gearbox. And let's put a dab on the, the gear stick. Oh, looks pretty. Right, that's enough of that. I got paint all on my fingers now. Oh, we've got to have a look at that. And we're nearly back around to Helena and then we best. I was going to say, I'm going to get shot. We best get back and set up. Uh, pack up, I should say. Hey, but look, I won't get shot if I keep hanging out down here with you. If uh, I couldn't find you, how's Helena going to find you? Yeah, well. <laughs> awesome. These are so cool. Why don't we have these to deliver with uh, nowadays, Angus? Like, why can't I have a horse and cart at work? And why can't I throw all the parcels in the back of here? And I can even do night deliveries. We've got the lantern. Um, I'm not sure how people would feel about me rocking up late at night to deliver their parcels in a horse and cart. I think they'd be, think it's pretty cool. 
So this one's been um, jigged with a bit of wiring too. Look at that. Didn't have that back in the day. Oh yeah, battery on this. Probably uh, light in the back. Oh, a moth just come out of there. Showing its age, isn't it? So what do you got? Fletcher Jones carriage cart. It's the original Fletcher Jones delivery um, cart. Oh, so this is their delivery cart? Yes. Well, why don't we have this at work? <laughs> God. Oh, well. I was gonna say with the glasses, that look. Oh man, you look you look to point. You look you look to character. You just need to put that uh, top coat on now. Uh, I really got to stop touching stuff. <laughs> what's this? Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? What's this? You'll find out when you touch the electric fence. Yeah, no, I won't do that. That is so cool, man. Wow. Has it been restored in any way, any measure of the way, like the the paint, uh, the sign writing, or anything like that? You reckon? I was Partially just... restored in 19, it's the 1916 um, Hawker's Wagon, it was partly restored in 1970, final restoration in 94. So this was a Hawker's Wagon? For yep. Fletcher Jones. There you the, go. The clothing manufacturer started in Warrnambool. That's their original... There you go. So, for anybody not aware, a Hawker was a name or a, look, a term for someone who went around travelling, a travelling salesman basically. They carried all sorts of stuff. Um, look. Some hawkers had, uh, you know, your essential groceries, uh, your coffee, your food, uh, you know, sugar, lots of stuff. And they'd just travel around uh, from little town to town or farm to farm and they'd sell what they needed to sell. Uh, this is really cool though, a hawker uh, carriage for the first Fletcher and Jones in Warrnambool. Well, that's where they started the factory. Unreal. I love that too. No man is hard to fear. Yeah, uh, custom made everything. To I beg people. to differ. I'm six foot two and skinny. I so, struggle to find pants that fit me. Yeah. Length to uh, weight, you know, uh, width. I was six foot six, and I'm now six foot three and 150 kilos, trying to fit in me. You're getting old, mate, you're shrinking. I know. <laughs> the size of the boards can tell you how old it is. If you don't find trees that big to carve one board out of. Well, that's true, that's true. All post and rail too, which is even cooler. So, tree. Guthrie's dairy. Unreal, Guthrie's dairy, with one dairy cow. How much milk she got to give tonight? Oh, probably 20 litres, she's looking, She's looking pretty full in the bag down there. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Ah, that's awesome. Loving it. Loved every bit, and I really hope you guys have too. Thank you so much, Angus. No thanks, problem. thanks for the invite. Thanks for the tour. Thanks for rocking up when we're looking for you. <laughs> Glad I could help. I'm hoping we can teach you guys some, like, you can find out a little bit more. And what you're actually looking for you can see it here what it was and that's the probably the biggest thing you know we've got to see a lot of stuff that we dig up in the ground so yeah, yeah. um yeah and that's sort of yeah you can really grab an appreciation for it all uh, some of the stuff that we're finding in the ground we can see how it was used in real life so it's, 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 yeah it's a shame that the main building's not open but this what this one here yeah it's got yep. actually a diorama of cobden oh wow like a little, yeah, it's, Massive, like a couple of pool tables long. Yep. But it's cobbled and miniaturised. Unreal. Unreal. Yep. Very cool. All right. All right. I better get this see camera off. Yeah, I was going to say, I can see Dom running over to me. Thank you so much, Angus. I'm going to catch up before we go, mate. Okay. So, off, off camera. <laughs> What's up, Dommy? You chasing me, are you, mate? Yeah. Yeah? What's going on? Oh, are we finished, are we? Yeah. His mum saying, where's dad? Go get dad. No. No. Oh, that wind's nice, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. You had a good day? Yeah. Good. That's what, that's what it's all about, mate. One thing. We'll get over and help mum now, and uh, we'll start packing up. Rightio, guys. So that wraps us up for today, sadly. It's been a fantastic day, and I've thoroughly enjoyed sharing everything with you. And I know it's going to be a bit of a long-winded video, or probably over two hours of footage by now. And uh, look, I need to start getting home and editing all this. But first, we need to start packing up. And as you can see, the ticket detecting family is well underway to doing so. And I cannot, uh, look, I could not be thankful enough. So 
very, very, um, look, I always appreciate the support. Helena and the boys do an amazing job, and they, uh, they, their support means everything. So next weekend, we're back doing this again. We're not selling anything apart from our own ticket detecting merchandise. We won't have any bottles, coins, relics for sale. Uh, we are setting up for our event next weekend, and I really look forward to seeing you there. So cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Happy hunting, happy digging, dig clean, think lucky, all the good stuff. And uh, as I said, once again, I really hope you enjoyed. If you want any more details on this place or on this day, be sure to jump on the Facebook page at Cobden Pioneer Park or Cobden Historical Society if you want to check out all the details of this wonderful event. We'll see you next time.